hostile atrophy occur if you do nothing. To prevent them, we perform physical exercise two hours a day. Plus, we volunteer to use our own bodies to investigate the preventive effect of a bisphosphonate, which is a medicine for osteoporosis and inhibits bone absorption. Also, while in space, we are exposed to radiation. Background radiation is 100 times stronger than the ground, and some particles come through metal. Researchers are investigating how to protect human body from radiation in space. Over. Interesting question. In addition to continuing training, astronauts perform final pitch check of their spacecraft and have press conference. When it comes to Soyuz, Russian spacecraft launch, it is a tradition to see a movie, White Sun in the Desert, in the night before launch. Over. That's a good scientific question. Yes, we can. We perform various kinds of experiments on the International Space Station. Last week, I planted seeds of a turnip mustard. A couple of months ago, I planted cucumber seeds. Indeed, Russian colleagues are growing wheat until it has seeds. It would be great if astronauts are self-sufficient in food as much as possible when they go to Mars and beyond. The results of plant experiments will be used for future space plant factory. Over. Thank you for a good question. We have medical devices on the ISS. They are emergency medical treatment pack, automated external defibrillator, respirator, and so on. All crew members are trained to handle medical emergencies in space by following procedures using these, these devices and with support of flight surgeons, uh, aerospace medicine specialists on the ground. As a medical doctor, I can handle medical emergencies for my colleagues and friends in space should they happen. However, I hope such medical emergencies do not happen. Over. Good question. Yes, I saw some meteorites during a Perseus meteor stream in August. Interestingly, I saw them in front of and below me. They are visible only when they enter atmospheric layer of the Earth and their surface temperature becomes very high. Atmospheric layer starts at around 100 kilometers altitude and ISS flies about 400 kilometers above the Earth. Over. Could you repeat, call was broken? Okay, a good question. Micro means very little or small. So microgravity means very little gravity. On the International Space Station, it is under gravity, microgravity. Everything floats, including astronauts themselves. Using microgravity environment, we conduct many scientific experiments on the ISS. Over. Excellent scientific question. Yes, we can. On the ISS, it is weightless, and we still have mass. Using Newton's second law, we can measure a mass in weightlessness. In short, when applying a certain amount of force, we measure a mass of an object by analyzing how hard it is to move the object. We can easily move a small mass object while it is hard to move a large mass object over. Good question. Usually we have six crew members on the ISS. They are one commander and five flight engineers. From nationality point of view, three Russians and three crew members from US, Canada, Europe, Japan and so on. Right now we have only three crew members from US, Russia and Japan. Over. Okay, 
Okay, good question. Uh, I think the question is about cleaning roster. We divide up cleaning tasks and clean all modules. If the question is about bathing in space, we cannot bathe in space. Instead, we wash our hair with shampoo, but without rinsing. We wipe our bodies using a towel. I miss bathing in a hot bathtub. Over. Okay, good question. In case there is an air leak, we close hatches between modules of the space station to determine which part is leaking and try to isolate the affected area. If the leak rate is very high, we may need to evacuate to our lifeboat Soyuz spacecraft and perform contingency return to Earth. Over. Good question. No, it is not hard to eat in space, but there are some differences between eating in space and on the ground. In space, we eat directly from a package using a spoon because we do not do the dishes since water is very valuable in space. We swallow the same as we do on Earth. Over. Interesting question. Yes, we do. When we run on a treadmill, we sweat. A difference is sweat does not fall down. Interestingly, it spreads over skin. Over. Very interesting question. I have not seen any other satellites from the ISS, but theoretically we may be able to see them. A satellite does not shine itself. So to see it from the ISS, it needs to it needs to reflect sunlight when it is dark around it. And ISS is not very bright to recognize the reflection from the sun. Good question. Believe it or not, you see 16 sunrises and sunsets a day. ISS is traveling about 8 kilometers a second. 90 minutes. So you see a sunrise every 90 minutes and the same for a sunset over. Good question. Yes, we do. It is called the crew quarter. It is about 1 meter long, 1 meter wide, and 2 meter tall. There, we change our clothes, read and write email messages, and sleep. Over. It was very nice talking with you. Thank you very much for excellent questions.